are like a hundred of these boats. This place is one of a kind. There are some natural pools out there which the boats take you to. Good morning guys from Puerto de Gallinas. Today we're going to go snorkeling, or at least we're hoping that we can find some snorkel gear to go snorkeling because this is one of the best places to do it in this area of Brazil. Apparently it's also one of the best places to snorkel in the entire country. So we've been seeing a lot of beautiful beaches lately and we know there's a lot around here, but today we want to focus on snorkeling. And I think that our Pousada, where we're staying right now, is right next to a bunch of great coral reefs. So. We're gonna take a little walk. We're not even bringing our phones because we don't want to have any valuables so we can just snorkel stress-free and have our stuff on the beach. Let's hope we don't get lost. We don't have our phones, not bringing the drones, not bringing anything with us except this GoPro. decided to buy some goggles. We wanted a snorkel kit, but this will do for now. We like to see under the water, especially in a place like this where the waters are crystal clear. You can see coral reefs, sea fish, and things like that. We should have done this a long time ago. If you come to Brazil, you should get one of these before you come here and have it for your whole trip. You can use it all the time. Uh, this one's 50 real, so that's about $10. And also a converter. <laughs> for a U.S. to Brazil outlets. Exciting. So right now we are walking to the beach and as you walk to the beach you head through this village area that's actually pretty cool. Lots of tourist shops, restaurants, acai places. Souvenir shops. Souvenir shops. Places to buy scuba, snorkel stuff. We are gonna have a lot of places to choose from for dinner when we're done with our snorkeling. Guys, look at all these boats. I don't know what this is, but there are so many of them right here. hundred of these boats. It is so windy. We can't imagine anybody going on these right yeah. now. Sailing in wind like this. There's a lot of different here. Yeah. This place is one of a kind. There are so many people around here. There is a ton going on and we can't find a single place where we can put our stuff. <laughs> Trying to block the wind here. This is what it looks like everywhere we look. Look at this big pineapple. A for effort. Okay, so we just got intercepted by a guy. He brought us to these chairs. He said that we can get these chairs basically for free. We just have to order some kind of food. So we have a few chairs and a table here right on the beach. And then uh, we have to order some food. So he showed us the menu. The prices aren't that bad. So just order a meal or some french fries or something and we should be good. So it's pretty good because there is no place on this whole beach to put our stuff if you don't get a chair. Uh, so we had to do that anyway. This is gonna be a little bit different of an experience today because it is windy and the water is not as warm as it's been. Okay, we're going out. This should be some good snorkeling. We're excited. We've seen pictures and there are, oh my gosh, I can't do this one. <laughs> We've seen pictures and the tropical fish here are incredible. They swim all around you and the water's super clear. Let's go see if it's as good as the pictures.
So you learn when you snorkel or dive that you're supposed to spit into the eyes of your mask and then you wash it out with the sea water and that's supposed to help it from fogging up. So. <laughs> Cross. is pretty good it could be better we've seen a good amount of fish but not really like much of a variety of fish there's not much color under here and we think also because it's windy right now and it's not that sunny it makes the visibility worse and maybe there aren't as many fish around because of the currents so not the best it looks like you can take a boat out there there are tons of people on these boats but that is a tour and it costs money to go out there maybe it's better over there there are some natural pools out there, which the boats take you to. It's honestly kind of a workout to snorkel right now because the wind is making the current so strong and it's hard to stay in one area. You have to swim against the current. I think we're going to go in and get something to eat. We just ordered our lunch. We're ordering a chicken, rice, farofa, the kind of thing Salad. that Brazilians do here. You, you basically order the meat and then it comes with a bunch of things on the side. So we ordered one thing, but it's for two people. So it was 90 real, which is about $18. And then we got two cocoa gelatos. So 20 bucks in all. Not bad for a view like this. We're right on the beach, right next to the water. And you get an umbrella with chairs to sit under and they keep your stuff safe. So 20 bucks for the day at the beach, not bad. After waiting about an hour, we finally got our food. Is this normal in Brazil to wait an hour for food? Because we've had this happen a lot of times recently but it wasn't like this at the beginning of our trip, so we don't know if we're just getting unlucky or if this is just how it is in Brazil. Yeah, we didn't film it yesterday, but we ordered a tapioca and a pastel, and we were there for about two hours waiting for a tapioca and a pastel. So, I don't know what's going on, but that's been happening lately a lot. <laughs> so we're extremely hungry, and we got a platter here of food. So we have french fries, chicken, some rice, salad, and then we have some sauces over here. Fries are old, 
we think they've been sitting there about as long as we've been waiting to get them. <laughs> I gotta say, this food is not good. It's pretty disappointing. We're paying pretty decent money for this, and none of it is very good. We're uh, hungry, so we'll eat up. Alright guys, time for another Q&A. This one's from Daniela Sa. Which is your favorite Brazilian food so far? And do you earn less money with Brazilian followers than with American ones? How does YouTube monetize the videos of different countries? This is a long question. There was okay. actually another one after that. And another I... one. We'll, we'll start with yeah. which is your favorite Brazilian food so far? Okay, favorite Brazilian food? I'm gonna say the churrascaria experiences that we've had still not, that's not many saying foods that, right but not exactly it's the meat it is many foods but the meat the brazilian meats like mm -hmm. picanha uh, and whatever the other ones are called brazilian meats have been very very we love good carne seca mm. carne seca so tapioca i've been having tapioca yeah, like tapioca every day thing. carne seca tapioca is great Tapioca is something that I would definitely miss and wish mm -hmm. was in the U.S. because it's gluten-free. It, it's it's like you can make a little pizza, you can make a little omelet. Like it's just like a little gluten-free, quick sandwich they're cheap, kind of thing. They're cheap, quick. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. They are pretty great. Mm. For me, I really enjoyed the cooked plantains um, here, mm. and that's something you don't usually find in the U.S. Also, all the fruit juices are just delicious. We have a fruit juice every single day, so yeah. miss that for sure. And then I'll let Alex touch on the second part of that question because it's talking about YouTube money. So do you earn less money with Brazilian followers than with American ones? How does YouTube monetize the videos in different countries? So I haven't looked really into the details of this, but so with US followers, you make some of the most amount of money that you can uh, in the world like they're in the top five I think so Brazil isn't in that top five so I'm not sure how much we make with Brazilian followers compared to the US but we yeah. know that it's it's good in the US Brazil it's probably middle of the road it's not horrible I don't think yeah um, every country is different with how much you make per ad that your followers watch depending on where they're from so yeah. that's pretty interesting yeah, so haven't looked into the details, but I know that like when I was traveling in Southeast Asia, places like Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, it is not a lot there mm -hmm. compared to the US. So I'm guessing it's something like that. So each and every one of the videos that you guys spend time watching helps us out. So we've been incredibly thankful for all the views we've been getting and it helps us be able to continue what we're doing. Next question. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Just just viewing our videos helps. It's probably not a huge difference between no. them. We like our Brazilian followers. We like all of our followers. <laughs> um, the next question is from Mark Keller. The video looks great. Are you still filming with just the GoPro? Most of our videos, yes, with mm -hmm. the GoPro. There are a few as we're coming up north where people tell us it's a little safer to take out the camera yeah. that um, we've been able to film with the big camera, but mostly 90% of our videos are filmed with the GoPro. Which is kind of funny because Alex just spent a decent amount of money on a nice camera before he started this trip in Brazil, and we thought we would prefer to film on that, but now we're actually getting used to the GoPro, and it's mm -hmm. so lightweight and easy to use. You just click a button, and the lighting's usually decent, and the sound's okay. We know sometimes it's not the best, but now it's almost like we don't want to use the nice camera, so uh. it's kind of changed the way that we've been filming yeah i spent hours and hours of research and money we can't say how much on this camera and the lens and all of that and we're basically not going to use it also because yeah. of my hand now mm -hmm. it is too heavy to hold with this hand it's just going to hurt it more so the gopro is probably going to be the rest of our trip due to that as well but alex did just get a nice christmas present from his family uh his parents got him an osmo pocket 
DJI Osmo Pocket, Pocket 2, which is kind of like a GoPro sized pocket camera. Yeah but it's new so it's a lot better than like the gopro we've been filming on. because how old is your gopro that you've had it's just a basic one what it's probably like five years four, old. four or five years old <laughs> yeah it's still running um, yeah so the next video is once i can get my hands on that uh they should be pretty nice <laughs> last question comes from canadian maga gal how did you two meet um, good question. We should probably touch on this because we have a lot of new people to the channel. Mm -hmm. So real quick, I'll try to summarize this. I was going to travel solo about a year ago. So I was researching travel videos on YouTube, how to pack, where to go. And I was going to go to Southeast Asia and Alex had a bunch of videos on Southeast Asia on, on his my other channel. No, so. <laughs> okay. It's okay. On sure it, yeah. Know. So he has another YouTube channel. Um, it's called Alexander Travel Bum. So I found him from his YouTube channel. So I reached out not thinking I would probably hear anything back. And then sure enough, I did. And we met up about a month later for the first time. We made a video on that. So here it is. We made two videos from the first time we met and the time we were together for uh a few days traveling together so yeah you can see that on the other channel and then you can see when we started our travels mm -hmm. together on the other channel after maybe 10 videos of our traveling together on the other channel then we started this channel and put the rest of them on here so yeah, yeah you should check those out on alexander travel bum so it's kind of a crazy story we were complete strangers met up in a random state montana and then we started traveling the world together and then ended up on lockdown, a strict lockdown in Peru for months and months. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> yes, it has. So uh, I think that's the end of the Q&A. Go watch that video, you'll like it. <laughs> and after that, um, we'll just see you in the next video.